it down. And away. Angelelli back on track. Escapes for that car today. Remember one of our storylines at the top of the show. Oh, oh look at this involving the Mike Shane Ford and one of the Salem's Masters. That's the championship leader. Remember the winners from the oh, Daytona 24 no. hour race. John Pugh uh, in a big incident there. This is a full course caution for sure. That uh, prototype car will move. Be if it doesn't there. move, they're going to have to tell you how that. Back and right back out on track. Joe Nonamaker in the 43, here's what happened. Here's Joe losing it to the outside on his own, no contact there whatsoever. Now he's gonna come and try and get re-entered. There he's got it fired and trying to keep momentum up in that grass. Now he's on the racetrack going the wrong direction. Oh dear. Oh, and see, oh, that's a big hit. Woo. Let's take you on board the 60 with John Q for that, this wild uh, ride. Oh, that's that going to do mega damage. Major deceleration. That'll really fold it up that front and uh, really given uh, yeah. John a bit of a hit there in the chest with the seat. Yeah, he, he, he a sudden stop. He took a complete stop all at one time. That's just like hitting a concrete wall, if not worse, because you bounce off the concrete wall. He didn't bounce off a bit. Well, look how far he's pushed the soil and sod. Did such a great job qualified there in the top five is running in the top five watch this in real time and watch how fast this car comes to a stop when it digs in i mean that is a brutal violent stop john's right he comes through this corner through the apex there's nowhere to go but cut across the glass boom my gosh i mean the, the g-force is right there i'd like to see what those were I would like not to feel them. I'd like to see them on the meter. Think about being on a bicycle, a mountain bike, or a motorcycle, and just grabbing a fistful of front brake. That's exactly what just happened to John Pugh. Oh, another, another car. Express, Express cars. cars. And this one's nosed into the barrier. I don't think it's hurt from the looks of things because it's gone through the gravel trap. What happened, David? You okay? But this is under, you, I believe. This is under full course caution this happened. There's some confusion whether trying to get in a pit lane at the last moment or something or stay out. Let's take a look. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I think they told him to stay out at the last moment. It looked like David had committed to pit lane and then maybe wow. stay, out, stay out, possibly on the radio. We'll have to wait and get clarification on that, but certainly he looked committed to the pit for us. Yeah, he looked like he was going to go to the pit for sure, and then all of a sudden they either told him to stay out and he tried to make that avoidance, but. Boy, what a big mistake that is on, under the caution to, to have a wreck like that. Just when the race was going so well for the five for the Action Express Corvette, Donahue had been running third all race long, challenging John Fogarty for second place. This was a contender. This is our championship well, leading car. And, and John's not doing anything at all. He's not trying to get out. He's not got the door open. Now you see him moving around in there. Nobody's come to help him either, which is a bit alarming to me. Then he was told to stay in the car. I mean, I'm sure they're trying to see once they back that thing out of the, the ground that it's in to see what sort of damage is on that front splitter design. It's the new Riley, of course. So, you, you know, looking at this right here, you wouldn't imagine anything would be wrong with anybody because the car's just sitting there off the road. But it, of course, if you see the crash, you see how violent that stop really was. Apex speed there in turn seven is about 80 miles an hour, and he may have slowed it down a little bit more than that, but 75 to zero in a heartbeat. Yeah, and the motion which appears to be quite a lengthy one. The rescue crews are now on track. And they are heading towards John Q's stranded Ford Riley for Mike Shank Racing. Not only does he need rescuing, but the track needs considerable cleanup. Now, let me say, as a driver, you know, you see what happened right there with John Pugh. When he went off the track, he wasn't holding on really hard or anything because he didn't think there was going to be any kind of impact. He was driving through the grass to re-enter the racetrack. He had no idea the car was going to come to that you abrupt out. stop. You can see if you could drive forward, man. This is really going to hurt guys like Westbrook Fogarty have not pitted yet. Because remember, pit lane closes. These guys are going to need fuel within the next handful of laps. There we see the lead. Our lead the pits are in. open now, David. Remember, Rojas. Yeah, guys, hooking, up, hooking up to the back of you right now. Get ready. The 99 car, nice and easy. You're out of the action on the other side of the race car. And that's really the only disadvantage of sitting on one side or the other is, is the point that you bring up right there. As they got the five car back going in. Oh, oh. look here. Now, if that didn't damage the car, Calvin, I am going to be completely amazed. One thing's for sure, there, okay. like there is no air going through that radiator, that's for sure. There is a wall of soil 
Meanwhile, you saw David Donahue get rescued and he is headed on to pit lane. However, there's 